Hey everybody, welcome to the third and final episode of Spiritual White Collar. We're doing a little spin-off on the hit TV show from a few years ago, White Collar, where an ex-con expert forger, a guy by the name of Neil Caffrey, who always wore a white shirt, dark tie, black coat, nice hat, he is now helping the FBI catch white-collar thieves who traffic in deception and forgeries. We're applying this to spirituality, of course, and learning how to spot counterfeit or to know if something is, in fact, the real thing. Yesterday, we talked about the Holy Spirit being our top informant, our go-to source to verify if something is real or not, because the Holy Spirit is the best. Well, today like the FBI does in white collar, we're going to look at some additional resources that we can go to in learning how to know whether something we hear about God is real or counterfeit. It's important that we continually expand our knowledge base and the experts that we draw from, just like they do on white collar. They have a whole group of people that are good at different things that they call in when they need them. Many of you already have a group of people like I do, like Steve McVeigh, Baxter Kruger, Don Keithley, Paul Young, and others that you regularly read and listen to, and they're great resources. If you don't have those yet, if you're interested in some of mine, email me at convertibleconversations at gmail.com, and that address is at the header of this video, and I'll send you their sites. And you can watch, listen to them, find the ones that you have an affinity with and start learning from them. Then it's great if you can really develop a personal relationship with one or two of them so you can contact them for clarifications and questions, especially when you need some help and you're not sure of something. Secondly, I developed a two-column document that compares side-by-side side the only true God, which is how Jesus describes his Father and our Father with the fictitious small g, G-O-D, the God of destructive religion. Side by side in this document, I compare their nature and what they each focus on, the two diametrically different types of love that they have. I contrast their positions on the way that they relate to us, and I compare their takes on sin and hell. I show characteristics of evil in the fictitious small g God. There's nothing to contrast there because the only true God has no evil or no darkness. I show what the ultimate goals of the two are. Now, when I say that I compare the two, that's a figure of speech, of course, because one exists and is real. The other is a figment of evil's imagination. But many people believe it's the real thing. It's like I can show you a dollar bill, a real one, and a counterfeit dollar bill. One is real. The other is there. You can see it. But it's not true. It's not authentic. And that's why we need to know the truth and learn to spot the counterfeit. Many of us have heard and seen counterfeit so much in regard to religion and especially to God that we never question it. Even when we know in our heart that it can't be true, and then unfortunately, a lot of people just leave the church, which can be a good thing, but also leave God and leave spirituality. They're longing for a spiritual connection, but what they've been taught was true, they just can't agree with. They know in their heart of hearts that it's not true. For example, many of us, many religious people, many church-going people, believe and would say that God's love is unconditional, but also believe that it has conditions. Well, the only true God's love has no conditions. And I contrast that with the several conditions that the fictitious God of evil imagination has. So, back on our takeoff on the TV show, Spiritual White Collar. You can view me as an ex-con who used to traffic in counterfeit forgeries, but has now changed careers and is on the team of the good guys whose goal is to help people by showing you what's real and what's counterfeit and to protect you so you won't be deceived. Bart Millard, the leader of the great band Mercy Me, has a line in his song, Wishful Thinking, that says, What I used to buy, I just can't sell anymore. And that's me. I can't sell anymore the stuff I used to buy into. And since I've come out of the shadowy underworld of lies and deceit where 
well-meaning but misinformed people call evil good and good evil, I now want to help you all see the truth about Jesus Papa and your Papa. I want you to know how good he is, and I want you to see that compared to the fictitious God of evil's imagination. So if you will email me at convertibleconversations at gmail.com, I'll send you my comparison tool and a list of other resources, and I think they'll be a big help to you. And then, if you would, let me know back how it's helped you or, uh, you know, what you think of it. I would really appreciate your feedback. So, thanks for being with me on this little three-part series called Spiritual White Collar. We'll move on to something else next time. But if you'll email me, I'd love to send you these resources. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.